Hey guys, welcome to AKD Tech. So today I wanted to talk about how to format your hard drive such as this or even a smaller flash drive such as this one. Now formatting is really important because you're essentially teaching your hard drive a new language. And the problems really start occurring when you switch between Macs and PCs because the languages that they can read aren't the same as the ones that are on a PC, let's say. So for PC, that would be NTFS. For Mac, you have macOS Extended or the newer Apple file system, which you kind of want to avoid because that's not really compatible with older devices. And if you want everything, you're going to have to go with XFAT, which is Extended FAT. Um, and that's pretty cool because you have a format that you can read pretty much everywhere. You can even read it on Linux, which is really, really fantastic. All right, so once you have your Mac, go ahead and plug in your flash drive into your computer and head over to Disk Utility. Now for me, I have it down here because I recently used it, but if you don't have it on your dock, just go ahead and press Command Space for Spotlight or click on this little search icon right there. And then type in Disk Utility. Now once you get Disk Utility going, you want to look for your flash drive that you just connected. Now for me, this is the SanDisk Ultra Media, which is currently holding the Windows 10 installer. So I don't want that in there anymore, especially because this is NTFS, so uh, Mac OS can't do anything with it right now. So I want to go over here, click on the entire thing, because I want to, I want to erase the entire disk. Now if you click on one of these, you might have multiple here. That just means that you have multiple partitions or parts on your flash drive. Now that's perfectly fine, but if you erase everything, then all those partitions are going to be deleted. If you just want to grab one of these partitions and format that, then you just want to click here. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here, head over to erase, and then I'm going to call this something new. So remember that there's a, a word restriction on XFAT. Now there is of course restrictions here, but for fat it's a lot less. So that's going to be an issue if you want a longer name. For example, I want to name this Aditya's Flash Drive, but I can't. So all I can do is AD Flash and I'll name this 16 because it's 16 gigs. And well, now you just press erase. Three hours later. So now we have a flash drive that you can connect to both Windows and Mac OS just fine. So now that you've formatted your flash drive, maybe consider subscribing to this channel or maybe even slap a like on this video. Also, if you have any comments, make sure to put it in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.